ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel this is drama side welcome to the blue king it is time now for another full album reaction uh all the songs one video right here right now as promised jeff rotol would be the next one up this is aqua lung in its entirety starting once again just like we did with the boston one even though we've heard this song before we're gonna let this thing marinate Aqua Long, let's go. Yeah. 
Jack was on my friends Don't just start away I need a day You poor old sod You see it's only me time uh when i heard it it just seems like a song within a song uh just a absolute masterpiece um with that being said let's not talk too long let's go ahead and get into the next one cross-eyed mary <laughs> Thank you. 
something that I found that was very interesting uh, as I was listening to Cross-Eyed Mary. Uh, we'll get into the particulars of that in a second. Uh, if you look at the plates, I don't know if you can see that with the way the screen is, but uh, Aqualung uh, title track being over played over 65 million times, whereas Cross-Eyed Mary would go down to uh, almost almost 14 and a half million. It goes to show you that um, in this day and age, in this time, in the advent of Spotify and other play things, uh, people don't listen to records like they used to. Single driven world, single driven market. Um, and I'm starting to wonder if that's one of the reasons why the deep dives that I did with albums on the other channel didn't do as well because people don't have the attention span to sit and listen to an album anymore which I think is like really sad. Uh, but this is a fast pace, a faster paced world now. Uh, interesting notes here. Cross eyed Mary is a song about another form of low life, but humorous. It's about a schoolgirl prostitute, but not in such coarse terms. She goes with dirty old men because she's doing them a favor, giving people what they want because it makes them happy. It's a fun kind of song says Ian Anderson in disc and music echo the 20th of March, 1971. Wow. Uh, Schoolgirl prostitute goes with dirty old men to make them happy. It's a fun kind of song. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed the song. Uh, not as much as Aqualong, um, but nonetheless, it did what it needed to do. It rocked. Uh, so with that being said, let's go on to the third song here, Cheap Day Return. Let's go. Soft shoe shovel pants Brush away the cigarette ash That's falling down your pants And then you sadly wonder Does the nurse treat your old man The way she should She made you tea as for your autograph What a laugh short interlude if you will uh general comments say that Ian Ian had been visiting his father seriously ill in a hospital in Blackpool while visiting from a connecting train to London at Preston station uh he sketched the song about the experience of visiting he may have been joking but Ian claimed the song would have been longer but the train arrived which makes perfect sense just for reference a cheap day return is a reduced priced return train ticket in which both the outward and return journey are made in the same day. Okay, round trip. So, little shorty, but a goodie. I like the melody in that. Uh, uh, just a quick interlude until we get back into the album, which is Mother Goose next. So, let's not waste any time. Let's go. <laughs> I did walk by Hampshire Fair I came upon Mother Goose So I turned her loose And she was screaming And a foreign student said to me Was it really true? There are elephants and lions too Take that really circus
by the bay the one to try and catch some sun. Saw at least a hundred schoolgirls sobbing into handkerchiefs as a Was a schoolboy. And the bearded lady said to me, If you start your raving and you're misbehaving, you'll be sorry. And the chicken fancier came to play. With his long red beard And his sister's wish To drive the lorry Back down by the buzzing green I popped him in the house Four and twenty laborers Were laboring and digging up their ground Long John Silva Saw Johnny Scarecrow make his run in his jet's black neck Which he won't get back Stole it from a snowman As I did walk my hands of faith Came upon Mother Goose So I turned her loose As she was screaming doing damage throughout this album so far just killer killer flute uh so basically a lot of the notes are saying that a lot of these songs from this album shouldn't be viewed uh in a overly seriously overly dramatic manner uh someone said i saw ian anderson he said he wrote the song to cheer himself up after writing cheap day return while he was returning oh i'm sorry while he was going to the hospital to visit his father so a continuance uh, uh of the of the previous song cheap day return now in in a lot of cases these are some people which could be speculation about what they think the songs are about i usually try to stay away from those unless it is direct quotes from Ian Anderson. Uh, but yes, yeah, very interesting to see uh, people's perspectives, however, um, uh, uh, to this album. So far, uh, Aqualong and Mother Goose, uh, the melody and Cheap Day Return, I was all about that. Uh, Aqualung and Mother Goose so far for me are the standouts. Wondering Aloud is next. Let's jump right into it. Wondering aloud how we feel today Last night said the sunset My hand in her hair We are our own saviors as 
Once we start, both our hearts beating life into each other. Wondering aloud, will the years treat us well? As she floats in the kitchen, I'm tasting the smell here. Yeah. Up toast as the party runs, then she comes, spilling crumbs on the bed. And I shake my head, and it's only the giving that makes you what you are. Interesting little shorty there. Uh, speculation is that this song is about sex. Uh, some believe even intercourse. Uh, it's it's interesting. Anytime somebody says love or sex, uh, you know, the mind wanders as to what or how deep the references go. Uh, some comments. You think you people think that it's about intercourse? Probably think a lot about intercourse throughout the day. This is simply a wistful love song with not one unambiguous reference to sex unless you consider the word bed as something to be used only for that um it's interesting how some people's mind go way deep into thought in matters and then others stop just short of the gutter uh another person said i believe that this song is about life and love sex included and that it's giving to another is the highest aspiration one can achieve uh, when I listen to it, I think that that would be more along the lines of what it was probably, uh, you know, giving yourself to somebody being the highest aspiration that you give to somebody, the giving of yourself. So it doesn't necessarily have to necessarily have to stop short with just the act of sex. It could be just giving yourself to someone else, uh, and being that one true desire of one. So, yeah, it's, it's, I mean... I guess that's why uh, music is so subjective because we can take our own paths or understandings to uh, what it is when we are not told by the artist. <laughs> 